Hi there, Jamie from Time and Space here. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the audio tracker function of ToonTrack's virtual bass software, Easy Bass. For those of you who aren't familiar with Easy Bass, you'll find another video on our channel which is a first look at the software and covers all the basics that you need to know. But in this video, we're going to be specifically taking a look at the audio tracker, which is a function that translates audio into MIDI. So you can import your recorded bass, guitar, or even drum and percussion parts and it will read the audio file and turn it into MIDI, which you can then, of course, further edit and tweak within the EasyBase software. So when you first open the Audio Tracker tab, you're presented with this screen, uh, which allows you to choose how you want to import audio. So you can either drag and drop or select a pre-recorded audio track, um, or record directly into EasyBase from a DI box or your DAW. Uh, I'm not a bass player, so I won't be recording directly in, but luckily Jack from the Time and Space staff team is a very good bass player, so I've asked him to record a short clip which I can use to demonstrate the audio tracker. Here is what it sounds like. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and drag that in and as you can see it analyzes it in seconds and brings you to this setup page where you can select which conversion you are doing, so this is bass audio, uh, then the tempo which I'm going to do is custom because I know it's 135 BPM uh, and then you can choose which of these additional articulations you want included if they were played in the original audio track. Uh, now click OK and we can see our analyzed audio as MIDI notes here. So the first thing you're going to do is play both the original audio and the translated MIDI part together and by using this handy mix slider here I can crossfade between them and compare them and you'll see just how accurately Easy Bass has translated this part. So already it's got all the rhythm and pitches perfectly. There are only a few small changes I need to make from here. This is such a big time saver and perfect for those of you who maybe aren't so confident with inputting rhythm and pitch and other musical features. Now from within this audio tracker page there are multiple things you can do to the translated MIDI part. You can drag the notes up or down to a different pitch or drag them sideways if you want to change the length of the note. Another feature is the ability to change the articulations. So you can see some of the notes are different colours, and this is because Easy Bass has recognised in the original audio clip that there were some varied articulations. So I can use the articulations drop down here to see which articulations have occurred where. So there are some red slides and blue grace notes in the clip. A couple of other features are the track fast notes function, which will pick up faster note changes if you're working with a clip that is maybe at a higher tempo or features fast rhythms. And finally, the amount of notes drop down. So this is sort of like a threshold of how much Easy Bass analyzes the original audio. So you can drag this up and down and it will either let more notes in or block them. And this can be split into regions also if you want sections with more notes and sections with less. So what I'm going to do now is add this MIDI clip to my song track using this button in the bottom right. And this will create a clip like this one. And I can then access this from the Grid Editor tab to make the few small tweaks that I want to. So there's just been a couple of small notes missed out, and this is because the audio tracker can only read monophonic lines. So if there are multiple notes being played at the same time, it will only analyse one of them. But of course, with bass lines, this won't be much of an issue, as most of the time bass plays monophonically, and any notes that are missed out can be added back in here. So in Jack's original clip, there is a slide note on the second beat of this bar that goes back down to this F sharp. Um, so I'm just going to copy and drag this one over, and it will automatically add in the slide and then I'm just going to extend it as well. There was also an extra note at the end um, that harmonizes the final note a third above. So again, I can just copy drag this up to the correct note um, and then maybe I'll quantize them so they finish exactly on the bar line. Finally, I'm just going to go through and overlap some of the notes that occur on the big leaps um, to smooth the jumps out a bit. 
So with all that done, this is what the end result is. Hopefully this has given you an indication of how useful and more importantly accurate the audio tracker in EasyBase is. I really didn't need to do much to the translated media clip to make it an exact replica of the original audio. EasyBase does all the work for you. If you want to find out more about EasyBase, take a look at our first look walkthrough which you can find a link to in the description of this video, or for any other information just head to our website at www.timespace.com. Thanks for watching.